The United Nations Child Emergence Fund and the Zambian government have launched a child protection training models and equipment for use in the three police colleges. Speaking during the launch on Thursday at Zambia Police College in Delai, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Home Affairs and Internal Security, Joseph Akafumba, who read the speech on behalf of the Minister of Home Affairs and Internal Security, Jack Mwimbu, says this will be integrated in the already existing police curriculum and it will enable police officers to work with children victims, witnesses and perpetrators of crime. Demonstrates our common desire to combat crime at all levels of society, promote professionalism among the police officers, and we further to improve service delivery to our people. Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, the Zambia Police Service Act, Chapter 107 of the Laws of Zambia, provides for the general duties of the police service, which include saving life and protection of property, prevention and detection of crime, and the apprehension of offenders. And the Inspector General of Police, Lemi Kanjoba, was represented by the Deputy Inspector General of Police in charge of administration, Doris Nayame. protection, which will be incorporated in the Zambia Police Training Curriculum and also to receive the donation of equipment for use in the three training institutions that Zambia Police has. This is indeed a remarkable progress as we are going to start training our recruits and in-service officers in child protection for the first time. The process of developing these modules started way back in 2015 through a curriculum review, data collection, and thereafter development of content. The purpose of the review was to check for gaps in the police syllabus and mat on matters related to child protection. Speaking at the same event, UNICEF country representative Nora Skinner says this will address the issues of child abuse child human trafficking and early child marriage. Policy of 2015, the National Social Protection Policy and the National Youth Policy. And of course we are all eagerly awaiting the adoption of the Children's Code Bill. Mangi Zombola, Liberation News.